Hello everybody, hey, it's Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards and Other Hobbies. Here's my other UNM Lobos hat. This is one of my favorite ones. I love that uh, interlinked UNM there in honor of my Lobos who are in the NCAA tournament. Play tomorrow against uh, Clemson in the afternoon. So, once again, rough, rough. Ruff, 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 ruff. Everyone's a lobo. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> All right. Congratulations to my lobos. Um, today is March 21st, 2024, Thursday. Uh, took off half a day today because we had to go get our taxes done. Got that over with. Went to the card shop before I went to go eat. And um, picked up some stuff so that I could show you guys. And I got my Lobos hat here. Um, old style classics baseball cards. There's the back of my little Lobo there. This hat's pretty worn out though, stretched out. Doesn't quite fit quite right anymore. Alright, so we got the Lobo hat there. Oh, and so in a couple things. Uh, took tomorrow off so that I can uh, uh, just need a break so it's not super busy so since I had to take half the day off today to get our taxes done I asked the boss hey can I uh, take Friday off too sorry I got a little uh, <clears throat> back hiccup -y kind of something going on in my chest here take a drink anyway I guess I'm a little bloated feeling once again and uh, yeah so let me take tomorrow off too so that I can take a break so now I can do some old style classics baseball cards with you but after we went got our taxes done stopped at the car store went and ate came back and um, went down to the next street to get back to where we live and uh, oh, I was going to have my wife, she went to take a nap. Okay, normally we'd turn down this street. Whoop. But because the light was red here, we went to the next street to come back. And right here there was a car on fire. Just sitting there. And it was coming out of the, it was like Volkswagen, coming out of the inside of the car. And, I mean, just completely up in smoke. Got out to see if everything was alright. In the process of calling 911. Um, but then some lady drove up said oh we already called 911 and I was like is anyone in that car and they're like no he's standing over there so anyways fire department showed up in about one minute put it out that car was literally toast pun intended yep, I guess gotta cut my nails again people never stops oh well, sorry about that so anyways that was interesting um, maybe um one of the other videos I could show you that video on her phone because I didn't take any video of that but anyways here on old style classic baseball cards today uh, I'm gonna set this aside here and um, show you what we got picked up another one of these um, at the card shop so about 50 50 shot of getting an autograph out of one of these so I'm still looking for a really nice one we got some cool ones then at that card shop in Sunnyvale I picked up the last box of the 2017 Allen and Ginter blaster that they had there so you know me I love Allen and Ginter then I got an eBay today and I was scratching my head what this could be but Actually, this is going to be a pretty big one, people. This is going to be another check off of my list. This came from Hawaii, and I was scratching my head. I was like, what could that be? Uh, the only thing I could think of was um, the Danica Patrick cards that I ordered. Those bikini cards were mostly all from Hawaii, but then I think I know what that is. And then, I guess this was just released. I normally don't buy the active player ones, but... 2024 archive signature series um 
buyback autograph card thing is here. And as you know, I like to try to get these, obviously, for a big name player. But I like to get the Allen and Ginter ones, is what I like. And one of the big things I've been looking for in Archive Signature Series has been the mini buyback Allen and Ginter tobacco mini. Because those are usually one of ones. I've been offering up a lot of my other Signature Series stuff for a trade, but nobody's obviously watching all that. So. But if you wouldn't mind subscribing, commenting, liking, or sharing, or notifying, any of that. But if you subscribe, that helps me out. And like, so that these videos can get um, out to other people who might like the kind of stuff that I like. And um, comment so that we can uh, have a discussion, or, or watch each other's stuff, or basically to interact with you folks and since I'm doing that um, I did get Tiger 727 commented on my Bugs Bunny video great to see Bugs Bunny and Looney Tune items always been a fan of Looney Tunes so let's send him a like thank you Tiger 727 for commenting on that video and that one's getting pretty decent amount of views uh, for my channel that is that's okay. I mean, I don't have to have hundreds or thousands of views or any of that. I mean, I'm trying to do stuff that other people aren't really doing, like Alan and Ginter and Gypsy Queen, those kind of things. I got about 83 views. My Bugs Bunny one, that's been pretty popular. Um, but, sure, um, hope you guys like my videos and, um, so let's see what we got here. So probably gonna do the eBay because um, well I'll explain as I go. But here's what I picked up the other day. This was a big one for me. The 2023 Allen Ginter X Mini Silver, hand numbered 101. And you see in my uh, three red number to five ones from the same set so quite an accomplishment getting that Andre Dawson's my favorite player so that was a big one I mean the guard already got it graded so as you can see it's Jim Mint 10 obviously a population of one as a 101 and then I was looking at this and I was like hey man I saw the picture on the eBay post and I was like it didn't have that PSA on the on the on the slab and I was like I just picked up another PSA card in the past and it didn't have that and that's pretty recent and I was like what the heck's going on why did they put that stupid PSA on there you know I don't want to see all that advertising I'm, I want to see my card and then it dawned on me that I think that that's on the, the little plastic cover here I haven't opened it or take it off because it's pretty nice you know they did a good job sealing that up so I didn't want to take that off so I guess that PSA right there is part of the um, little bag the sleeve I guess but if you like you can look that up on a PSA I showed that on the last video scan that QR code if you're interested and that'll pop right up. So that's a huge card for me. That's a beautiful one. I love that. I love Allen and Inter. I love Allen and Inter X. Andre Dawson's my favorite player in my PC. And uh, so that's pretty sweet. Stoked to have that card. And to go along with that, I did pull out the other one that I was going to be talking about the other day. So I do have another Jim Mint 10 Andre Dawson from PSA. That's on the 2020 NG Mini Brooklyn back. So picked that up a while back, about five or six months ago. And that, of course, is hand numbered to 25, the Brooklyn backs. Now, I do need to pick up the Brooklyn back from the regular Allen and Ginter 2023 set, but only one person has one on eBay, and they're asking $80 for that. And I'm like, yeah, you're crazy. That's maybe a $25 card 
30, but not 80, but doesn't even have a make an offer. So yeah, I'm not going to be paying that for that. So anyways, um, that's pretty sweet. Number 17 of 25. That's pop one last I checked when I bought this card. So that's pretty sweet. I was running a little rainbow on 2020, but it's pretty stalled out because there's just not people posting them and stuff like that for sale on eBay. And then I had misplaced this card the other day. I guess the it's in the top loader and fell on the floor next to my chair here. But I recently picked this one up, which was a cool one. The 10th anniversary Andre Dawson stamp on his 2013 Alan Ginter card mini. That's his first year in Alan and Ginter. And those were obviously bought back and placed into the 2015 set. So that's a pretty sweet one. I always wanted to have me a 10th anniversary version of him. So that's another check off my list there. Alright, so since I showed you that stuff, what we're going to go ahead and do is get to the eBay. The one from Hawaii here, but as you can see that uh, if you take a good look there, they've taped right over that little peel thing, so you can't even get to any of these seams here. So, I have to bring out the X-Acto knife. So I'm going to pause you while I open this. All right, thank you. I had to Fernando Tatis Jr. rip card this with the X-Acto knife. Open that. All right. So this is going to be another check off my Alan Ginter list of things that I'm trying to pull. And um, I don't know things I'm trying to do and that I think is a lot of fun is Alan and Ginter has so many different things and so many different options and I'm just a big fan of Alan and Ginter I'm trying to get like one of each kind of different thing they do like a stamped anniversary card like a 101 Brooklyn back no number micro card Mega super card, stained glass, wood, any of that kind of stuff. And then one of my things, even though it's not mainstream Allen and Ginter in the sense that it wasn't released, and one of the Allen and Ginter products is on the Archives Signature Series. They do Allen and Ginter buybacks, autographed, and I have multiple ones of those and a couple Dawson's but one of the things I always wanted to get from Archive Signature Series was one of the many tobacco card Alan and Ginter buybacks um, they're hard to pull because they are short print well not short print I guess they're just um they save the minis for like kinda like the hit like case hits because the minis, Alan and Ginter minis, are 101s when they do the buyback for Archive Signature Series. So what I have here is a 2022 Archive Signature Series card. And this, it, you know, it didn't need to be anyone in particular. I just wanted to have one. So... I finally found one that was for a pretty decent price on eBay so I went ahead and ordered it uh, because it really didn't matter to me who it was just to have one and uh, so these cards were not intended to be autographed originally by Alan and Ginter uh, they were bought back um, signed by the player hey there we go Shaka's Closet might like this and um, then inserted encased in their tops one touch whatever and stamped and all that and this is a white Sox giolito mini buyback as you can see there 101 tops archive signature series 
And what does that say there? Bear with me a second. Can't read what that says. Certified autograph. So it doesn't really say whether or not that's um, active or retired, but I think that's active. So that's a good sign maybe for this box that I just bought. So anyways, even though it was never intended to be autographed by Tops, bought it back and had it autographed and repurposed it into another product. And I wanted to have one of those because I'm a mini tobacco card collector and that's what I like. And I just needed one of these in my collection because now it's another thing that Tops has done with Alan and Ginter. And there you go. So another check off my list. So it's got some debris in here. I think it's probably just inside this sleeve. I'll have to get around to checking that out, get whatever junk that is. Replace that. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of this sleeve. I got a I got new sleeves right here. Nevertheless, because I'm fairly certain tops did not sleeve these. And we'll find out later when I do that box of archives. All right, let's get that out of there. That suck at that. Yeah, that's annoying. That little uh, crust must be in there, I guess, inside the one touch. So good quality assurance there, tops. But there you go, Lucas Giolito mini. It's hard not to say mini frame to autograph because it's not mini encased autograph so Lucas Giolito pitcher so let's see here it only played six games zero wins one loss all right I don't see a rookie card logo anywhere on that card though so that's interesting 2017 they had the rookie card logo by then so hmm, must have had a card out maybe before that all right but like I said that really didn't matter to me it's just having one so that's sweet so somebody else picked this card up like some of the other archives cards I've got and didn't care for it was like ah, I gotta get rid of this and there's a guy like me sitting out there wanting one of these so win-win, he wins by getting to sell it, I win by getting it for a decent price, because the one-on-ones are always going to cost you a, a pretty penny, and uh, so there you go. So I think I'm going to leave that episode at that, so here's different things Alan and Ginter does, they bought back these, stamped them, put them in a frame. Bought back these, got it autographed, put it in a one touch, and then somebody else paid to have these graded. Now, normally I wouldn't want, I wouldn't have graded these my own self, but somebody did, and well, I really have no choice. I want that card, so there it is, graded, and uh, this card. You know, I needed one for my 2020 run. That's the only Brooklyn back I came across. But, yeah, it's a 10, so not bad. So that's pretty cool. I like it. <clears throat> so that'll be it until we come back. We'll probably do this. And maybe this, since it'll just be like a two-card reveal. And then I'll save that blaster. Um, we could do the blaster in its own video. So, hey, people, thanks for watching old style classics baseball cards. And uh, checking off some more things for my own Yenter run and my PC. So. If I'm going to check a thing off my list, if it could be Andre Dawson, then why not make it? But sometimes you can't get it. But sometimes you get it and you win. 
So I'm happy. I'm really stoked to have that. I actually bid on another one. And I think that was Coco Crisp. He was up there. One of the horizontal um, landscape cards. Coco Crisp. Which is cool. One of the great names in baseball as far as an actual name. But I um, ended up losing that auction. Which is fine with me. Because I got the card. And um, so now if I were to get another one of these. Obviously it would be like a Dawson or, or somebody big but that fills in the that fills in the need so now I have officially have archive signature series full size now I'm get her autographs and now many 101 I guess some of the other ones uh, maybe on the list would be like some of the insert cards they use for Ginter you know like the um, pitching a gym or the Dick Perez sketch cards or whatever inserts they have or I want to get your X or Chrome or something like that but hey gotta leave stuff for another day so thank you everybody for tuning in to old style classics baseball cards and um, hope you like my video please subscribe and like and leave some comments tell me what you think of this stuff tell me what you think of what I'm trying to do good luck to my Lobos everyone's a Lobo woof 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 oh. <laughs> hope they win tomorrow afternoon uh, the Mountain West uh, they won one game for the play-in series of Colorado State beat Virginia then Colorado State lost today pretty bad to Texas well not bad in the sense that they lost by a lot, but neither team could score, and it was just a horrible, horrible game. And then Boise State lost the playing game, and Nevada lost a nail biter today to Dayton. So the Mountain West has three of the six teams is already eliminated, um, with only one win between those because of their playing. But the big teams play tomorrow Utah State San Diego State New Mexico I think they're all picked to win and move on and I think San Diego State New Mexico are set to uh, make it to the switch 16 so hopefully that'll be a first for the Lobos um, BYU lost today they got upset and then Kentucky just got beaten by Oakland, Michigan. Uh, they just, <laughs> that was great. Sorry, Kentucky fans, but uh, it's nice to see a big upset and to see one of the big name teams go down. So, congratulations to Oakland. Um, but hey, I'll be back. You'll be back, Rob. Alright everybody, thanks for watching Old Style Classic Baseball Cards.